Aloha, this is the Green Lightning Mr. T. Last episode, we got the recorder from the second dungeon, grabbed the two keys, and in this episode, we'll be heading to the sixth dungeon to grab the stepladder. Yay! Well, I'm hoping I can manage a couple of rupees, and I should take the road since that would be better. Yay, five rupees, that's really good. Whoa! Oh, that was kind of cool. I can't believe I got out of there without taking any hits, so that was... wow. Oh, dang it. Well, it won't matter once I get to the sixth dungeon. I can technically show you where the... the magical sword is. The white sword is in its usual spot. No, it's this thing. Yay! Wait. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Well... Forgot that. Yes, that's a heart container. What am I thinking? Slash potion, which I took. Okay. Right, you don't touch it. Just play the recorder. this file, they would not let me get through that room at, at all. Holy mackerel, I cannot believe they let me go so easily. And I want to check, there's a key here. Yes. So I can come back to this room and attempt to go with that key. Right, one key. Yeah, I'm stuck in here, aren't I? <sighs> Until you have the magical rod, these light lakes are so annoying if you get stuck in them. Wow. What happened on my practice run that made that room so hard? actually don't really need that many keys to get to the magical uh, magic rod. Oh, thanks. Another thing about swordless, well, I already said this is my first quest, but the jinxes make are more of a, like a good thing. And I have yet to explain these uh, 
different colored ones, I guess. Um, in the second quest, they introduce new jinxes. There's red jinx and blue jinx. Blue jinx will make it so that you can swing your sword if you've been hit by red jinx, and red jinx will make you unable to swing your sword until you find a blue jinx. Really nasty. That's one thing I'm ha gonna have to worry about is when I get the Ganon, like in the end, I have to make sure the last j blue Jinx I've hit was a blue one. Yeah, like that, that'd be really annoying. But until then, they're more of a help than a hinder. Generally. Alright, for now, I think it's off to the eighth dungeon. Really, I think I've got the keys. I'll just give it a quick check. So I don't end up wasting time. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got enough keys. Yeah. We got all we need. I don't have the meat though. By that I mean the bait, of course, but you will need the You need the bait in order to get the second item that then which is a magical key. So I'm gonna have to do some grinding somewhere. Or somehow, something like that. Where am I going? First one. There's the fourth dungeon. And up there is the, the white sword. Alright, now I have to remember where this is. It's like right here. Oh, give me a sec. Alright, it's like three in maybe? This map doesn't have a grid, so I can't tell where the each screen is. Yeah, alright. There's a, a, a lady with potions screen to the left. Now, this dungeon took me forever to find. I had to look it up because I didn't think they were that evil. There was a hint in one of the previous dungeons about checking south of the arrow, which is uh, one screen north that arrow, which is actually where the magical sword is. The real one, not the one I was thinking of, apparently. So... Well... There we are. I'll just leave the world map, I guess. I really don't need the map. The magical rod is so easy to get. Continue. 
that's right, we're not done here. This is by far, I think, the easiest way to get bombs is by coming here. Because there's the... I think they're called gremlins. I could still be wrong. But I think that's what they're called. Because I'm going to need bombs in order Because there's going to be a... The dongo. See, see how easy it is? I don't think there's anything in this room, just blue stuff. Yeah. And I might uh, stay here and, because there is rope in this dungeon. In the second quest, some enemies are like upgraded to be harder. One of them being rope, another being like uh, Stalfos. We'll get to them when we see them. Bombs are no are no longer a problem. Now I just need rupees. And now I kinda want the map back, so I'm gonna pull it off real fast. Just so that I can see the rooms that have the good enemies I want to fight. Yes. Medical rod is a whole lot more useful in the second quest, just due to the fact that um, there's the red jinx that uh, make it so you can't use your sword at all. You can still use the magical rod, which basically is almost the equivalent of a sword. And as you can see, these ropes look a whole lot different. They're like gray. They remind me of cobras, but since they're gray for some reason. I know they can be different colors. Probably every room has, that has this formation, you always want to check the block of like whatever supposed block is one that can be pushed. Give me a rope eyes. What's up here? And grumble grumble. This is where we need the bait. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I've already got bombs and... Yeah. Now we just have to grind for rupees just to get up to 60. So that's probably gonna be the rest of this video. I don't really kn know a good grinding spot in the second quest. Because the rope don't seem as friendly as the rope in the first quest. And I could technically start on like another dungeon. The problem with that is, uh, ooh, that was good. Um, that the keys I have, I would have to worry about keys, and I don't want to worry about keys. I want to. No, I want to not worry about keys. Oh right, I have the recorder. I didn't think of this. I can now access um certain ruby areas I couldn't before. Hold on a minute. So there's some in the desert I can get. Yes, there's one there. And a heart slash potion. And then there's one down right, I remember. Where is that? Yeah, it's there. Alright. Alright, I got two places where I can grab a 10 rupees, so 
That'll push us a bit closer. I'll go and make my way over. We'll get this one first, maybe, or maybe I should. Um, whatever. Let's just go grab these first, I guess. Or I have to. Oh wait, that tree doesn't. While we're here, why don't I show off the seventh dungeon? This is the second dungeon I could not find because I thought they wouldn't be that cruel. They were. I was like, oh, it can't be that tree. I know you, you can you can get it from over here, but it, it wouldn't be. It, they wouldn't put a dungeon there. No, that's that's way too clever. Apparently not. I never looked back. I like, okay, they are evil. They are evil now. I will always remember this. They are evil. And so I remembered that they were evil whenever I played this game. So I knew where to look for everything else. If I knew there could hide something in a clever spot, I would check. And then I found lots and lots of uh, guys who wanted to have the doors repaid. That was my reward. Alright, so this one, yeah, it's this one. Yeah, all right, we already got 40 rupees, so... Um, once I get these two 10 rupees, I'll have enough to buy the meat. We'll see how much time we have left this episode afterwards. Wow, that was so well timed. Now to the desert. You know what's funny? There's one of these guys, like, down southwest, um, who is, like, a little taking, he's like, thank you for paying the fee to my door, and, like, all that stuff. Nice and evil. Um, and then, when you leave, of course, the tree, the tree, it's underneath a tree, the tree goes back, and he's like, your door looks fine. Why are you stealing my rubies? Your door isn't broken. It actually is a functioning door. It opens and closes. Why on earth are you making me pay? Yeah, it's just funny. I'll never forgive that man for taking my money. Bought him a new shiny door. Alright. I guess we better head to the meet. by going this way, I guess, so that was a, I should have spawned right. Now, I'm not sure if there's any more rupees on the map. I'll, I'll give it a check when I grab the meat. But, as far as I know, I, there, I didn't get too many rupees using the border. Alright, we are here for your meat. Alright, so we got the meat. Now, let me check the map. I'll do a quick survey. I don't believe there is any, uh... There's the one that... Let's take the third from the bottom left to the right. Um, there's like, there's that staircase that's hidden underneath a tree. When you play the recorder, it goes away. And that's basically... There's more, uh, secrets in the desert. And I'm not worried about showing them all off. Even, I'm not worried about sh even showing off the what heart containers really at this point. I don't know, I'm... I don't feel it. Look, this is 
the kind of uh, quest I'm doing, it's the kind of quest it is. And I see no more. I see no more. I mean, there's also a money making game, like, on to the left of the Lost Woods or whatever, but that's not important. So, I think I'm just going to end this here, and we shall get the magical key in the next episode. So, until then, this has been the Green Lightning Mr. T, and to you I say, Aloha.